One of the biggest problem in our life now is climate change. But so sad because most of people are not aware about this problem much, or some people think it's too big problem. We cannot do anything with it, but it caused very big impact in our life so far. What is the cause of climate change? There are many theory. There are many belief about this. Some people believe that the climate change is caused by human. We consume too much natural resources. We did not consume with awareness. We did not consume in sustainable way. It caused unbalanced ecosystem in the world. Some group of people believe that climate change is natural thing. Even no human on this world, climate change still happen. Because it's natural thing. So we don't need to worry about it. We're just facing it, be with it. And another group believe that climate change is a man-made problem. And then it's only a small group, the elite group of the world, the people who control the world, design the climate change for people. Because they want to decrease the population of the world. When we have climate change, it will cause a big impact to every life. Most of people will die or have a lot of problems. This is the way they think they can decrease the population of the world. So there are many ways of thinking, there are many theories. But it doesn't matter which theory you believe in. The most important now is the impact from climate change is impact our life so bad. We have problems seriously in many areas because of typhoon, because of the storm, because of flood, because of earthquake, because of the sea level higher and higher. So the impact of climate change cause a lot of problem for people in the world now, especially farmers. Mostly people do not think about climate change much because they think it's too far away from their life and they think it's too big problem. They cannot do anything with it. But for farmer like us, we have impact from climate change directly quite a long time already. For example, we grow rice. In Thailand, we never have rain after the end of October. November, no rain at all for many hundred years. As I remember, in my six years, I never seen rain after October for most of my life. But in the last 20 years, we start to have more rain in November, even December. That's, that is not normal for us. Because we grow rice in rainy season, and the end of rainy season is October. And in November, is the winter for us. So we harvest the rice in November. But now we cannot harvest the rice easily now. Many people ready to harvest their rice, but it rained every day for two months already. If they harvest the rice, their rice wet. How can they dry them? Because they don't have enough space to dry the rice. Their rice will get moldy. That's a big problem. If we grow only rice, the whole land full of rice, when the, the rain come long time like this, we lost the money, we lost everything. But if we design our land to not grow only rice, decrease growing monocrop, we have more pond for fish. We grow a little bit of rice, we have more different kind of fruit trees, and we have forests. If we have more 
kind of plants in our farm like this. If the climate change attack us, we cannot harvest rice. It's okay. We don't need to grow a lot. So we can dry in small amount of rice for our own consumption easily. But we can make money from fish from the pond. Or we can make money from fruit from our fruit trees. Or we can make money from our forest. We have a lot of things that we can sell from the forest. So if we design our land in this way, we have a chance to survive more. We have less problem from the impact of climate change in our life. And if farm, more farmers design their land in this way more and more, it will increase the area of forest, increase the area of good climate more and more. It may change the big climate level in the macro level. It may be help to make the season become normal again. So if we design our land different from before, not grow only monocraft, we have more chance to survive. And then it, if farmers survive, it means everybody will survive too. Because farmers are the person who grow food for everyone. If the food shortage or the food more expensive, everybody will have impact directly. So I think farmers need to change our way of farming. And consumers need to support farmers who change. This is the way we can contribute to climate change solving problem. If not, I can't see the solution. We cannot just let it happen like this. It doesn't matter what kind of theory do you believe about what is the cause of climate change. But now it's about how can we face it? How can we solve this problem? This is the most important thing that we need to help to think. We need to think about solution. Don't worry much about what is the cause of it. If we help each other in this way, I think we can see the future. We can create our own future with our hand easily. If you are interested about designing the land in a sustainable way to prepare for all kind of crisis, all kind of problem, we have a design course in December 2nd to December 6th in the next weeks. Not really long. So you can join us or you can follow our Facebook Pan Pan Organic Farm or our website panpanthailand.org contact us. We have designing costs quite often at the farm because we want people to change the way of farming because it's benefit for farmer, benefit for everybody. It's good for everyone. But whenever we grow cash crop or mono crops, it costs problem for everybody. Design the land is very important. We need to design for sustainable way of farming. That will help us to make things easier and easier. If you are interested in our design course on December 2nd to December 6th, you can come earlier. You can come on 28th because we have a festival, harvesting festival or abandoned festival in November 29. And after the festival, you can stay for the course in, in December. That will be worth it for you to come. Welcome to join us in Pan Pan Organic Farm, Pan Pan Community.